Hey guys, today we're talking tech, but more specifically, a tutorial. I want to teach you guys how to make cinemagraphs. What is a cinemagraph? Okay, I found this on the web for what is a cinemagraph. As Wikipedia describes it, a cinemagraph is a still photograph in which a minor and repeated movement occurs forming a video clip. Within a photo, you're going to have a moving element. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up the shot and how to create the cinemagraph using Photoshop CC. All right, so the effect is pretty easy to pull off and you can probably get it done in about 15 minutes depending on how long it takes you to shoot it. Basically what we're going for is going to look a little bit like this. Silly, I know, but what I wanted to achieve was to show you how to take a simple video clip and turn it into a cinemagraph. First thing we gotta do is get the shot. Okay, so setting up the shot is pretty simple. First thing, you wanna make sure you're shooting on a tripod. The most still your image is, the better it's gonna turn out. Second thing, what you wanna animate in your image, make sure that there are no other moving parts behind it or, or anything like that because it's gonna make it really hard for you to cut out and mask just the animation that you're looking for in post. We're only looking for a couple of seconds of video. This is going to be looped and in this case it's just going to be water coming out of a hose but you only need probably 10 seconds max. Alright so let me reposition the angle and we'll set up the shot and we'll just keep going. Let's situate my shot here and uh, looks like a nice leaf. There we go. We're posing for a photo remember? I think that's good. We got it. Let's move on. Okay, now that we've got the shot, we need to take that clip into Photoshop. So with Photoshop open, we're gonna click the open button, navigate to the video clip that we're going to use and hit open. You'll see the video clip shows up here in the timeline and it is the full clip and we don't need all of that. So we're gonna trim it down to just the part that we need. Drag the in to match the playhead and then we'll find our out point. We just need a couple seconds. There we go. So basically what we want to achieve is creating a still version of this clip and then we're going to mask out the water so that the still clip is on top and the moving water clip is underneath it. And we can do that by duplicating this group, drag it down to the new layer icon. We want to slide this clip all the way to the end. So at the end of our base clip, the layer above it has the first clip again. And we're gonna drag a little bit of that out. We don't need any of the extra, so we're gonna drag all that to meet the end of it. Now what we're gonna do is keyframe the opacity so that this top layer gradually becomes visible from invisible. So with the playhead at the very beginning, we're gonna click this little arrow Click the stopwatch for opacity, creating a keyframe. We're gonna change that layer's opacity over here to zero. Move to just about the end. And we're gonna change the opacity once again to 100. Making a change after you move the playhead should automatically create another keyframe. If we watch that playback, it'll look like this. Okay, so we have our loop created. Now we need to just make the top layer. We're gonna take this base layer we're going to copy it and move it to the top and we're going to rasterize that layer. Slide it so it covers everything and you'll notice now everything's frozen. Go down here to the mask icon, click that. Make sure that the white box, the mask is selected. Grab your paintbrush and you're using black and we're going to paint our water stream. Now if you scrub the playhead, we'll see that water is moving but everything else is staying still. Last thing to do is export it, and I think the best way to handle this is to go File, Export, and then Render Video, and go ahead and name your clip. I'm gonna keep it as Cinemagraph Short. Leave all this the same. Select the folder where you want this to go, and click Render. So in the Cinemagraph folder, we have created this pretty short 
clip, but we're gonna need to repeat that. To do that, we're gonna take this Cinemagraph clip into Premiere and loop it. Okay, so over in Premiere, we're gonna select the project panel, hit Control I to import. Let's choose that Cinemagraph short clip we made in Photoshop. Click and drag it straight into the timeline. So at the end of this clip, we have one black frame. We need to delete that last frame. Select it, Control C, move the timeline to the end and Control V until we get to about, let's do it till it's about 30 seconds. And if we just play that back real quick, you'll see that it just loops over and over again for about 30 seconds. Okay, so now let's just go to File, Export, Media. We're gonna leave everything as it is, H.264 for the format, preset is match source high bitrate. The source range will be entire sequence. And we're gonna put this back in that Cinemagraph folder, leave everything the same and simply hit export. Nice, 30 seconds of a repeating <laughs> water hose. And that is how you create a Cinemagraph. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. If you use this tutorial to create your own Cinemagraph, I want to see it, love seeing what you guys come up with. Share it with me on Twitter, use the hashtag GillyGill. Oh, before I forget, next week we are going back uh, to the Outer Banks for vacation. Smack that thumbs up button if you're excited for some vacay vlogs. All right, my friends, as always, thank you for hanging out with me today. I will see you on the next one. Thank you.